Hello, everybody. Welcome to Con Rare Replay Conker's Bad Fur Day Part 9. I'm your host, the one only dig. We are recording, so let me be sure of that. Okay, do we have to watch that cutscene again? Yes, okay, let's just skip it, we saw it last time. Okay, now this is another part of the game where they don't tell you what to do. They just say, get rid of the plane, but they don't tell you how. But fortunately, I know how to get rid of the plane, so let's get on it. Oh, yeah. The power nodes are down. They need to have some electricity put through them. How are you going to do that? I don't know. Suffice to say, there's an electric eel in there and some things. I leave it up to you. That is so bizarre, guys. In all the years I've done this game, he's never actually told me that. I swear, that's the first time he's ever said, there's an eel in there, there's some electric things. Eel, cut me some slack here. So anyway, you gotta get the eel to swim through these three electric mini hoops. You gotta do this without drowning too, that would help. Come on, last one, last one. You have him. E electrifying. That also gives us the context to the B-Pan, which is very important to do our mission. That's so weird. Is, this, is, this, is, this, is it just because I fell down that exact moment, that exact spot, that he decided to appear there? I swear, I've done this three times, this is the third time I'm doing this on the channel, guys, and many more, if you account the times I did it on N64, he has never come out and said anything before. It's amazing I discovered new things in this game after... 18 years? Yeah, wow, almost two decades. Alright guys, our next step is first and foremost to push this block here. I'll show you why in a second. That screechy block. Reminds me of the hands uh, fingernails on a truck board. Oh, that's a bit too far. That should be good. Okay, next up we go here to the bathroom. Men's room. Knock, knock. And an imp comes out. A different kind of imp. I don't know what else to call these characters. They look like imps. Oh, you've got a problem. Uh, hi, hi there, little fella. I, I, are you the janitor? No. I, I don't suppose you have any, uh, uh, like, toilet paper? Oh. I did before. No, not the janitor. And could we please have this conversation somewhere else? I, I think I'm starting to gag. Oh, uh, yeah. I got a bit of a problem, and, and it's kind of like, oh, yeah. Well, I'll come out now. I, I, I seem to have this thing attached to my back. I, I, I can't see what it is. It's probably a good thing, Mr. Oh, Imp. Uh, you need to worry about that. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, I, 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 I'm a little tired. Could you give me a hand? Just get around back there and, you know, give me a hand. Oh, well, okay. Let's get the guys in space. Yep, and we're going to use these two... These, this Imp is going to sacrifice himself for the greater good. First, we push him down this hill, and the block stops him from hitting the water. Or the steps, or whatever. Now, we gotta push one imp to each side of the plane, and then blow him up. Which is very cruel, but... I know, so is a lot of things in this game, guys. I didn't write the game. So don't hold it against me for playing it. Now, the problem is getting him over there without getting him... Well, before he prematurely explodes by something. And you got these stupid jumping ammo crates. And falling crates over here. Oh. Oh. 
Alright, we're halfway there. Next up, another thing of ammo crates. Let me try to walk into them. I'll get fit here. Sorry, MP, your country needs you. Ever so close, we can't let them get touched by those things. I'll get fit here. Nope. On your feet, man. Wait. Oh. I'll get fit here. Okay, this should be the last obstacle on this side, I think. Oh. Got him. I'll just stay here. You can. So now we can head back to the B-pad, and it'll give us a swing shot we could use to light the fuse. Thank you for your service. That's half the plane, so we're halfway done. We gotta get in there, imp. And yes, you get an infinite amount of imps in case you keep messing up, so you don't have to worry about running out of imps. Yes, I do realize, guys, my non blind playthroughs do not have the same stigma as a blind playthrough, but. Come to think. I'm hoping you can still enjoy them, is what I'm trying to say. You do look at games if you beat them already from a different perspective when you did not beat them already. I know it's pain painfully obvious. But in some ways it makes the playthrough, I think, more enjoyable depending on what type of game it is. Also, you don't have to worry about me running around like an idiot trying to solve puzzles, because I know all the puzzle solutions already. And if I do promise to do more blind playthroughs in the future, I just want to get these things that I already did in my channel done with. And then I can move on to the blind stuff forever and ever and ever. Unless they bring a remaster another game I've already played or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh. Oh. Alright. Now we gotta do a spider bind in this oh. section. Oh, wrong direction, wrong direction. Shit. I can never remember the pattern here. Stay in the center. Oh. Get over. Over. That was close. Got him! Both imps first try. Let's go. I'll do I think that's a brand new record. Let's sacrifice our sacrificial friend here. Yep, that takes care of the plane. Okay. It's going to be up with the Sarge. I feel like it's a Sarge. I have no idea what rank this squirrel is supposed to be. I, I'm just going to call him Sarge from here on out. Even though he wasn't more like a general, I'll just call him Sarge for the sake of argument. Okay, I've uh, done what you asked. Hold well on, soldier. What the hell is that? Dude, that was very sneaky and not warranted. <laughs> Oh, this doesn't look good. Ow. 
Where's my gun? Huh. Where am I? What's this doing on my head? Oh, hi guys. Um, would somebody mind telling me what's going on here? Give me a dirty look, will you? Great, right, you're a puke. Okay, 30 seconds. Nice knowing you guys. That's not what you're supposed to say. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, guys, you get one guess of what this is paying homage to. One guess. Did you guess correctly yet? Again, the younger generation of people probably might not know what this is from, but the older generation like me should definitely know. We're in control. Time to go. Time to go. How would you know? You've never even seen them yet. This is crazy! Yeah, we've been locked down here for the last ten hours! Murder holes up there! Machine gun men! Gotta clear them out, boys! Uh, what was that, you think? Uh, 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 yeah, I gotta... I gotta do it. But, but I, I'm not equipped properly. Ding! Yep. I think you should press B now. Got the Stogie and Twin Uzis. Okay, soldier. Move it out. Alright, so as you can guess, this is another platforming shooting segment. Alright, so we got... I can't remember the controls again. Um, shit. Shoot that walk off. Let's put the guns away. Okay, A is to reload. Gotcha. Yeah, but I see them, just like the turkey, he's in dead space, too. Alright. Gonna come out? Ah! Danger close. I was very worried that that one right next to me did not ban that many. Whatever, I'll take it. Shit. Alright. Oh, 
careful. Guns out. Low. Ah, open fire. It's amazing the aiming in this. Ah! This feels more on par than in Bioshock 1. As far as aiming for the head goes. Unbelievable. Oh, not done yet. I'm right, gonna do this. Oh, that was easy. And classic gold nine mode. We reload after every firefight. We start with full clip. So far, so good. Elevator. Ah! Fucker. It's the elevator. Oh, it's on the walls. Or somebody's coming up, uh, creeping up on us. Spider Mines. Right for it. Surely like it can't get any worse than that. Oh no, music. Stop stabbing me, please. Oops. No, other direction conquer, please. Alright, now the flamethrower dudes. Yeah, I can't kill them, by the way. You just gotta avoid them. Many. Oh boy. The pop off from the ceiling? Yep. How am I going to do this? Hug the wall? Yep, hug the wall. That works. Well, it's not a good time to reload. I now have lasers and flamethrower amps. Great. Cross in one shot. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, good. Guns out. Way too many. Wait, ah! Uh, this was a little tricky. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. We got through. Alright, the surgeon's wing. Oh, what? Oh, this is a bit different. What are those guys? Oh, little teddies. 
Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. I mean, what if you were to give this game to, say, yes, 20 yes. intelligent people? I mean, what would that do? Let's face it, what would it do? Really? That's interesting. What the f it's that bloody squirrel? Quick, into character! They have surgeons throwing scuffles. Who else? Who else? Come on. God damn it. Saw one back there. Oh, big, big guy, big guy. Not big enough, though. Clear? I think that's it. Oh, God. At least I wonder what the hell was going on in that tank. Yuck. Oh, my God, this is you. Could you get me out of here? Has arrived. Huh. Sorry, you can't move. Let's see now. Um, do you know which switch it is? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 written on it. Um, yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny. Okay. Hey, just so you know, guys, whichever switch I pick has the same results. Amazingly enough, the guy still survives being electrocuted. Well, what do you know? I'm not quite dead. Thanks for that. Feel a bit strange, though. How do I look? You look great. <laughs> I gotta go. See ya. <laughs> it's unclear if he actually survives the whole ordeal or not, but what? Again, this is a game's design, guys. Nothing I could do about it. Oh, is this the turret room? Oh boy. Alright, time to juke him. Okay, from the reload, then go for it. Well then. Ah, damn it. I'm so close to the chocolate, come on. Let's try again. Oh, I could've just done that the whole time, really? Out quick. Got him. Let's take his seat, shall we? Oh, more chocolate. Very nice. Reinforcements are coming in. Hot.
got this. Right side. Yep, right side. Left side. Clear. Oh, son of a bitch. Last chance, guys. I don't think they saved in my progress either. Guns have such huge recoil. Come down, come down the aisle, I'll keep knocking you down. We done? Nope, not yet. Bitch, I didn't even see you over there. That looks like our way out. Conveyor belt. Master plan. Not look pretty. Alright, so I'll head on out of here. Whoa, oh, firing squad. Stay hidden there, little Rowan. Oh, not too good at the moment. We want 
Where's it coming? Oh, well, we're dead now. Say, I noticed that your outfit is a little bit different to the usual Army Regulation A tire. What, what is it? Oh, yeah. It's uh, experiment number G7224. I'm the first to be fitted with this. It's an indestructible, uh, titanium laminate. Right. So what does that mean? Protection? Uh, conquer? Um, it means that if somebody shoots me, I don't die. Really? That's a pretty good idea. I'll get me some of them. That's the only one. They're very expensive. Very yeah. expensive. Stick behind me. Right. Who said that? You should say that. Have that line. Mr. Dink, Dink, right? From Doug. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Right. Which way? Ah, uh, teeny meeny, miny, go. Right. Go. All right, guys. I think this is a good point to stop. Let's just quick make sure it saves our progress as usual, because the game is iffy. Yep, we're right where we're supposed to be. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.